I am so excited to be making this video, finally, because this is the new, straight from Japan, Fall of Albaz Master Collection, aka the White Story Complete File. This box here that I just got today, the release was just a week ago, I believe, in Japan, contains every single card in the Fall of Albaz story, with 15 of these cards in quarter century secret rare, including four new artworks, never before seen and still not in the TCG. We're gonna open this up right now, go through everything that is in this box, and I'm super happy to be sharing this opening with you. Let's dive in. So while I open it here, I'm gonna try to do it all on camera just to make sure everything is visible and the opening experience is visible. This, this is pretty big, I would say. It's like a big um, printer paper size or like a little bit even bigger. It has the logo here, the complete file. It probably says the white story here below in Japanese. I don't know. And this is the official Konami product. It also has the Konami logo and the 25th anniversary logo. And on the back, it has this sticker, which probably says a bunch of things, right? So we're gonna open this up and go through everything. There is a lot of cards to see. There is a binder in which you can organize all the cards you got from here. And there's also an art book, I believe. So we are opening this first. I I've never watched an opening of this product before. And uh, I'm doing this for the first time with you right here on the channel. Oh boy, this feels great. This is, wow, this, this feels premium. Oh, ho, ho, ho. All right. We got some bubble wrap here. I'm not a professional unboxer, but you can already see what this beautiful thing looks like. And this is the, the cover. It's an outside cover here with, of course, the complete file and an illustration of two characters who are the lead characters of uh, the story that we're gonna be walking through today, Albaz and Ecclesia. This is beautiful in gold, of course, and white, because this is the white story, guys. And in the back, we just have the Konami logo in, in gold. And on the side, we have, it's gonna be hard to show on camera, but this is like a pretty nice textured binder. This is the binder and it says the fallen and the virtuous on the, on the spine here. This looks great. Let's open it, let's, uh, let's pull it out. Okay. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God, guys. This is something. Wow. So first of all, this is the, the complete file. This is the binder. It is sort of like woven almost. It has this sort of like jeans texture and it has a drawing of, first of all, the four Zoas, which, uh, you know, we got, we already got a tattoo of that. This is, you can see that on the on the belly of uh, Albalinidus. These are the four Zoas. We have the Nexus here on top of the city of Dogmatica, but we also have the theater of the branded opening up from the chasm created in the city of Dogmatica. We of course have the clouds here. Everything is like surrounded with gold. This of course is also a part of the, you know, this diamond shape, the hole in the sky, it's all connected. And you saw the spine already, it has the fallen and the virtuous. Oh my God, I've never, I haven't seen that ever, ever. Wow, this is, this is beautiful. It has, I think all the facets of the story, you can see here, it is a lot of mercuriers here, flying about. And here you have some spriggans, the sword of sword soul, and ice jades right here. These are all the parts of the story. And here, I don't really know what that is. This is probably the Sword Soul Summit and maybe the Ice Jade Kingdom here. These clouds are very Sword Soul-like. And then a uh, dragon, which is, I think, the dragon of Golgonda, the sea serpent of Golgonda Desert coming out of the diamond shape in the sand. If you haven't seen the story, there's a whole movie about it on my channel. You can go check it out before you watch this. So this opens up. And let's open it up, shall we? Let's make some room here. Hopefully this will be enough space. 
And there we go. We are in, ladies and gentlemen. This is, of course, you can see it is a binder with, uh, you know, some, some binder pages, obviously. This comes detached. And here are the cards, ladies and gentlemen. Um, this comes in like, uh, this is the first time I'm seeing it, so I'm super excited. This is like a foam package. And then there's another booklet here inside this binder. So this is gonna be the binder where we put all the cards that we just got, right? So let's look at the, there's two booklets here that we got. Let's open these up. So this might be like, oh, okay. This is all in Japanese. It's gonna be hard for me to understand, but these are of course never before seen artworks of the white story. The white story being the story of Albes and Ecclesia, who are the protagonists in this world. So these, I assume, are pages you can put in the binder that separate the story from one place to another. You can see here, this looks like maybe Fleur de Lis, the beginning of the Albes story, or maybe this is even the end, who knows? She's falling. Let's take a look here. Oh, okay, so this is one. There we go, okay. That makes more sense. It is numbered, because we we are stupid. So this is gonna be the first one, and then it tells you which cards to put in that story. Awesome, right? This is so cool. This is gonna be the second one. We can see Ecclesia here going off to the land of the Tri Brigade and the Spring Ends, meeting Kit for the first time, Fleur de Lis escaping the capital, and Maximus taking over everything. We can see Shreg here, and this is just beautiful. So it tells you which cards to put and in which order. This is chapter three, the creation of Mirajade, the branded fusion. You can see the ice here, Ecclesia and Albaz, and the ice jays through the ice, and of course the sword souls as well. And on top of everybody, Aluber is watching from above. Now, this is gonna be the land of iron, where Kit goes to, to get the energy of the sprites to create the super weapon that is Persephone the second. I know so much lore, guys, so much lore. So you can see the sprite figures here, you can see Sargas, the champion, fighting King Regulus, and a bunch of Therions, and this is the face-off. You can see the faces, of course, Kit. This is Kit, as she's seen in the artwork of Sprite Sprint, right? And that is the final chapter. Ecclesia falling from the sky, Albaz reaching out, the fusion creating, possibly Sanctifier as well. We have all the, the final bosses. You can see Shreg here being wounded, Sargas launching his missiles. This is Quem, or rather Relic of Dogmatica. Maybe this is like a, the, the Bestials or something like that. And in the middle, you can see Lulu Walilith shooting up. This might be this pattern then, shooting up her sword. So these are the chapters that you separate the binder into. How cool is that, dude? How cool is that? Now, we have another art booklet here, which we're gonna go through. Of course, we're not, we're, we're taking our sweet time, guys. You will have time steps in the video, but you only get to open this product once in a lifetime. So we have the pages here. We're gonna put them off to the side. And now this is gonna be the art book. And of course there's a big story here. Of course, this will be probably translated soon. And then we can maybe get some more, you know, unique lore or more, rather more accurate lore. We have the Ice Jade Kingdom and the Sword Souls. We have the Dogmatica Matrix and a Luber here. You can see a Luber resting and thinking. What is the next step? We can see this is very likely Shreg or rather Bicephalus II. And this seemingly is Lulu coming back from the dead. Rather, Fleur de Lis coming back from the dead. Oh my God. I did not expect that beautiful color. Yeah, this is the, the artwork of Light of the Branded. 
And you can even see pieces of Sanctifier here as the fusion between them is forming. And of course, the, the beginning, guys. This is so iconic. It looks incredible, man. It looks so good. There's pieces of the story here. And it's just so touching and beautiful. You can see them forming the Sanctifier Dragon. It was so cool to see just a pop of color instantly. Ah, yes. We can see Albaz here. This is the end game form of Albaz before they fly away. You can see Mercurio. You can see probably Theo and Aiden from the Dogmatica tribe fighting about a Luber. You can see the mask of a Luber. No, it's a Luber, dude. I told you. Um, of course, Kit in the desert with her champion Sargas. You can see the tribe brigades chilling and talking about Albaz and Ecclesia and how they did so well in their battles. And the Ice Jades in their broken kingdom. And who's that here? A Luber looking at himself in the mirror. And this is part of the altar. And here you can see this is Ad Libitum. Based on what I'm understanding. So maybe Ad Lib returns. Ice Jade Kingdom locked for a thousand years. And Ecclesia looking at you. Saying hey. Let's go man. And here we have concept arts and character sheets for the alt arts of probably all the characters and a bit of story as well we're gonna be seeing that very very soon this is so awesome we got ecclesia here with a granule hammer bro incredible stuff we can see the market we're gonna see that uh in a second and now a luber and cartesia in their alt art forms look at a luber Dude, he has wings and he looks incredible. And of course, Cartesia with the Granganiol, Vitrage, Mosaic wings and the horns. And uh, of course, if you want to get sleeves of these artworks, they're still available on Sleeve Chief. And you want to support, get hyped for the story, link in the description below. And um, Yu Gi Oh! card game, The Chronicles. So they also made a piece of animation, of course, which you know of. And these are some character sheets there of how they created those characters. Which looks spectacular. And some frames from that movie. Wow. Right? Wow, incredible. So let's uh, unbox and look at the cards. This is the last thing that we have to do here. We have four piles here, which are probably going to be just equally distributed. And we got Dramaturge, Albazoa, everything in the story in this beautiful foam packet. Let's start cracking these open and looking at the cards. So here you can see the first exclusive new card from the set, which is the Dogmatic Calamity Dogmatic Calamity something dragon, it's Alba system. Yes, baby. Yes, this is this is how it looks like. Incredible. Now this is a quarter century secret rare with the quarter century secret rare stamp. And uh, yeah, you can see the 25th anniversary stamp here. And this is the first new card out of the set. And I believe there are 15 of them here. Now, here's what's unique, and this is probably going to be um, sorted by the story, so we're going to keep that in that order. And they have, these cards have a stamp of their own, which is so cool. Now, everything else is going to be ultra rare, and they will have this beautiful stamp at the bottom. Just beautiful. And this will basically walk you through the story as the creators intended. These OCG cards, first of all, are just beautiful. And here are the introduction to all the characters of the Dogmatica nation. The punishment takes place and the titanic dragon falls from the sky. And then Fallen of Albaz is revealed. There's, of course, the standoff here between the tri brigades trying to get the boy from, for themselves. And now they are introduced into the story. So this is the chronological storytelling of this. Now, tri brigade airborne assault, the battle between Shireg and Fleur de Lis, the two opposing tribes. The Ashians are deployed, the tri brigade standoff, and now the Dogmatica is starting to take over Ecclesia. 
starting to light her stigma on fire. Of course, everything you hear me saying here, you can watch the, the movie and see it for yourselves. Albaz becomes um, Brigrand, grabs Ecclesia for himself, and escapes to the desert. And we also have tokens here, which is just beautiful, dude. Just beautiful. Why do these cards look so good? There's like this texture about them. So this is the end of the first part of the story. And then, of course, we're off to the desert of Golganda with all the Springans having fun and meeting Kit for the first time. You saw all the Tri Brigades, but Kit comes in later. She also was released in a later set. Of course, they are captured in the desert. Kit releases them and Sprint is formed. We fight the Springans. We celebrate defeating the Serpent of Golganda, which is not going to be in here. And then the Dogmatic Calamity takes place in the Despia Theater is introduced into the story. We got the White Knight. And of course, everybody turns into the Despians. And uh, we end uh, chapter one here. Now, I'm very interested to see when we'll get the other artworks of uh, and the, the other QCRs. I don't know where they are, but we have the, the dragon first. So we are continuing the story with Dramaturge, the Despians, Branded in Red, opening and the big battle, Masquerade, and then back into the desert, Branded in White, turning Albez into Albion. And here's the, the serpent. And now there's the battle. Screams of the Branded. Fleur de Lis comes to the rescue. Spring as interluder. This is Fleur de Lis, Aiden and Theo from Dogmatica. Off to the Sword Soul Summit. Whew, these cards look so damn, dude. So damn good. Branded Bond, Clesia, and Shrouded. Bear Brum is here. And Brandon High Spirits, we celebrate. And we are off to the summit, guys. We are introduced to the Sword Soul Tribe. We got all the all the cast members here. Then we meet finally with our Dogmatica heroes in the summit. Right? We go off, we talk to the big boss to accept Ecclesia and Albaz to the tribe. And we are also introduced to the Ice Jades here. Absolutely beautiful stuff. And uh, this is of course the healing of uh, Fleur. She's injured. She comes to the Ice Jades to, to help her. And then the big betrayal. This is the turning point of the story. Long Yuan is actually a spy. And he has let the Despians invade the Sword Soul Summit, guys. This is a blackout. We are going into the summit here. And um, we are very close to being, uh, you know, meeting Mirjade for the first time. And the Luber is, is shown here for, for the first time in front of everybody. It's the first time that Ecclesia and Albaz are going to meet a Luber. Look at this. Isn't that insanely beautiful? Like, why do the cards look so good? Branded Lost and Branded Disciple, probably. Um, we do get some shots of what's happening in the in the Dogmatic Nation. We see the retribution here. They come back and they capture Fleur. And then Mirror Jade is formed at the end here. Wow. So this is the end of chapter two. And then Branded Fusion opens up the, the fourth chapter here. And we're probably going to get Alba Lenidus soon. Thereafter. Yeah. So, of course, we're all here because of this card, right? And uh, we have Lubelli on here. We have the battle. And then Alba Lenidus is formed. And we're probably going to have Expulsion soon. And Alba's the Ash and after that battle. Now, off in the Land of Iron, Kit is working on developing a new weapon for the final battle. She visits the Therions, and she needs Sargas to win big so she can get the Sprite energy to power up her new Tri-Brigade weapon. So, of course, these are... It's funny, because these are so much more modern, about three years from where Albaz was... from when Albaz was released. And, um, yeah. These are also part of the story, guys. Sprint is here, and then... This is pretty touching because this is going to be the the death of Fleur de Lis and, you know, Ecclesia remembering her as a child and Fleur de Lis being a mentor 
and a sister and sometimes you know someone who has to put the rules down the virtuous of the stalls this is what the this token is called and then afterwards i guess we are uh introduced to cartesia here greg and Yol, and the bestials i love that they put look at that they put cartesia in between the bestials here which is so cool of course we have regained where you can see her Baldrake, Branded Beast, and this is we are preparing for the final battle, the Bestial Lupelion. Nothing better than that. And then the showdown. The showdown begins. This is Tri Brigade Showdown, the last card, and we are off to the final chapter. And uh, hopefully the QCRs are here. We haven't seen the QCRs yet, guys. But this is, um, I'm having a blast. Oh, there we are. You can see them. You can see them right here. <laughs> so yeah, Dogmaticas, and you know, just the end game, the, aid, the end game with the Ice Jades, the battle over there, the battle in the Dogmatica cap capital, the Tri Brigades, coming in hot, Sargas, Rinbrum, and Bucephalus. These are the three big weapons to fight the Albazoa and the Bestials. We can see the scenes here, and now we should expect Sanctifier any second now. The Blazing Branded King, the Bestial the Spatter versus Albion, the Sanctifier Dragon. Lulu, now it's going to be Sword Soul Punishment, raising up her sword and striking down Bucephalus with his weapon as well. And it's basically the end of the story here. Luber finds his companion Ad Libidum and Fallen of Argyrus. Blink Out is also a part of the lore. Awesome. Adrian, Quem. The Bestial Aluber. We got a Million Century Ice Prison, which is um, a card from Duelist Nexus or Age of Overlord, I believe. The Black Goat Laughs. And of course, New Frontier. How awesome is that? But we got <laughs> the best part is yet to come here. When we look at the, finally, the new alt arts for Albaz, Cartesia, Aluber. And of course, Ecclesia. Look at that. Readjust the lighting here. We have Albaz. We have Ecclesia. We have Luber. And we, of course, have Cartesia here. These are the four new cards that we got here. Just absolutely beautiful. And this dragon, which we need to figure out what the story is about this card. And then, of course... All the beautiful quarter century secret rares just looking incredible, guys. Incredible. We need this in the TCG as soon as possible. Like, this is. This was a, a pleasure. This was really like an immense pleasure. And all the cards look just insanely beautiful. Just insanely beautiful. This was the, the complete opening and story of the white story complete file of course now you're supposed to you know put them in the binder by the order of appearance the order they're numbered in with the dividers that we saw before for each chapter and just enjoy that story um again if you haven't seen the movie go check it out if you want sleeves featuring cartesia and Luber in their new looks they are still available on Sleeve Chief, you can support the channel, support me personally for doing this. And, you know, I'm just happy that we are able to get this. I have waited for this for like a year. And it's so fun and rewarding to see a story that people love so much come to life in this sort of like way of Konami saying, Hey, we know this is important to you. We know this matters. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment below, like the video, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.